morning year six and welcome to day three, Wednesday. We are going to be continuing today to learn about calculating the angles in a triangle. So, yesterday's challenge. I love these, they're like puzzle pieces. You have to solve bits and put it all together to find the next. So, three angles make up a straight line. Hopefully you know that a straight line is 180 degrees. That was one of the things in the very first video. Angle A is half of angle B. Angle C is five more than 130, and they're all multiples of five. To work this one out, I probably would have started with angle C, knowing that it's five more than 130 degrees, means it's 135 degrees. I then would have taken that away from 180 to work out what I was left with, which would be angle A and B added together, and then A is half of B, so you can work that out from there. And that tells me that angle A is 15 degrees, angle B is 30 degrees, and angle C is 135 degrees. It's quite cool. Next one. This time, four angles made up a full turn. Now, a full turn, hopefully you knew, was 360 degrees. A and B are equal angles, and when added together, make 130 degrees. So the first thing to do there is half 130, because you know that A and B are equal, so they must be the same. Half of 130 is 65, so you know that A and B are 65 degrees. C is then a right angle, brilliant, you know that's 90 degrees straight away, so you've got C. Finally, D is obtuse, so you know it's going to be bigger than 90 degrees, but less than 180. But also, you know that your full turn is 360. So if you add your known angles together and take away from 360, you should be left with 140. Well done. So this is your Fluent in Five for today. You need to work out the missing angles. So I strongly suggest you have a look on the Year 6 Home Learning page and download the PDF because they're really little and it might be a lot easier for you if you can either look at it on screen or print it off. But you have here a triangle and you need to work out what X is. You've been given two of the angles and you've got a missing one. And it's the same for all of them. You've got two angles and a missing one, two angles and a missing one. And you need to have a go at working out your missing angles. Pause the video, have a go. Okay, so hopefully you paused the video and you had a go. The main thing to remember here that is that all of the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Right, I'm going to try and do this without coming onto the camera. <laughs> My mass group, you should hopefully know what I'm talking about. So, if you put your arms out straight in the air, like you're trying to pretend to be a bird or a plane, imagine yourself as 180 degrees. You are a straight line. If you then fold your arms up so they meet at the top of your head, you've created your own personal triangle. You fold it up, you're 180 degrees. Now it's really silly, but it helps remember if you know that the straight angle, the straight line is 180 and you fold that up, you keep your 180 inside your triangle. All angles in a triangle add up to 180. I've made myself look silly for your future maths knowledge. <laughs> so with this one, if you know that all angles in a triangle add up to 180, you know that your missing angle is 41. Because 92 add 47, take that away from 180, gives you 41. B, you should know that Y was 97. Because again, if you add 58 and 25 together, take that away from 180, you get Y. C, and this one's a bit of a trick, but not. It required you to know that that was 90. If you know that it's 90 degrees and you add it to your 35, you can take that total away from 180, which gives you 55 degrees. D, you've got 31 here and 28. Put those together, take it away from 180, and you get 121. Over here, you've been given some decimals. 88.4, add that to 23.2. Take it away from 180, 68.4. B, 
42.1, add that to 101.6, take it away from 180, and you get 36.3. C, 19.5 added to 21.5, take that away from 180, 139 degrees. And lastly, 47.3 add 72, take that away from 180 and you end up with 60.7. Very well done if you got those right. There's quite a few steps there, especially with the odd decimal thrown in. So very well done. So today's challenge, you have to sort these triangles into the table. Do they have no acute angles, one acute angle, two acute angles, or three acute angles? Think carefully about what an acute angle is. Maybe re-watch the very first video if you can't quite remember where it tells you. And then have a go at sorting them. You're not always given the angles, but remember if you know that all the angles in a triangle add up to 180, you've been given the clues to work them out. Finally over here, it says P is 143 degrees because angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees and 180 take away 37 is 143. Do you agree with him? If not, or if yes, then why? Pause the video and have a go. We will reveal the answers tomorrow. Good luck.